Hello. Today I'm going to review my own account. This is my first out of three accounts. This is my Luke's father, Luke's father account at 5.5 million GP. I started this account in 2016, but it, uh, I took about two years off. There's a lot to cover, so let's get into it. All right, so here we have 5.5 million. All right, let's look at the arena. Right now I'm at 58 in the arena, uh, 38 in the fleet ranks, and I am in Chromium 2 in Grand Arena. Going through the journey guide, I have all tier one, tier two, uh, in tier three, I'm just missing BAM. Uh, tier four, I have C-3PO and Chewie, and I don't have anything in tier five. I also have Han, Treya, and uh, General Kenobi, and do not have Reva. Is it Reva? I watched the show too. Great show. Third sister. That's what we have. Not Scott. And Galactic Legends, I've got C. Alright, so now let's go to the characters real quick. When I favorite a character, that just means I'm either wanting their shards or their gear. That doesn't necessarily mean they're my farming priority, as you'll see later. Uh, so let's just get on with it. Sorted by power, uh, as you expect with a one galactic legend, uh, most of the requirements for that are kind of near the top. You know, Sith Eternal, Darth Sidious, which when I, when I lay down at night and I think about this game, I think about the fact that I have a Relic 7 Darth Sidious. I'm going to try to remember to leave my Star Wars Galaxy Hero.gg uh, account in the link. So if you want to just kind of go past this, you can just skip it. But I'm going to do a quick scroll through this stuff. All right, and then the gear 12 start dropping off down here. <coughs> All right, so let's go to the squads. First, I want to go through what I have. These are kind of the teams I use a lot. Of course, I I plug and play the characters that I need, so I don't only use these squads as they are in here, but if I'm going through Conquest or something like this, this is, these are the teams that I pretty much use. Uh, let's see, C, I am missing armor from this squad. You know, that is just because I've been getting along pretty well without her, uh, just using Watt Tambor for things. Armor is in the list of uh, future things that I need to get done, but it's just hard for me to relic people that I don't need for something like a Galactic Legend or just, just something that meets a requirement, all right? So I've got my Empire that I needed to get C. Uh, I've got my Sith Triumvirate, which might be my favorite squad in the game right now. Darth Sidious actually works pretty well in here because he has the healing immunity uh, that he can inflict. So I, I don't think it's terrible that I have a, a Relic 7 Darth Sidious. Uh, the Triumvirate do most of the work with the damage along with Sith Marauder and Darth Sidious just keeps, uh, keeps that health low. All right, Galactic Republic. This will likely stay this way for a while. Uh, I don't really have any plans on upgrading them uh, until I get um, the Negotiator, General Kenobi. General Kenobi should get a bump. Uh, my Imperial Troopers uh, with a Relic 7 Dark Trooper. These are all my characters that I use for solos. Uh, you know, Relic 7, uh, Omicron, Wampa, uh, and on down to my Omicron Savage Opress. Uh, I've got my CLS that I'm still kind of in the works of uh, getting, getting Relic'd up. Uh, 
my shock T squad, my Giganosians, and then it starts kind of going down from there. You'll see I'm working on this Grievous squad. And it says Conquest, <clears throat> but uh, it's also for gas. Uh, clones, not much to look at. They're, the only reason they're so high up on this list is because I'm farming them up for the cam squad. Arc Trooper is up above with the uh, Shock T group. I probably won't get uh, the Clone Sergeant any higher uh, until I go for Kenobi. Uh, Cody, I'm going to take up a little sooner, but you'll see that later. All right. This squad is almost ready to go. Got to get Droidica up there. He's on the short list. This is my uh, General Grievous counter. Uh, this is my gas, missing gas, obviously. And bounty hunters. And I'll just kind of scroll through the rest here and let you take a look. The Phoenix, they are right where they need to be. And they're probably going to stay there for a while. Mandalorian, I'm not planning on ever working on this as a squad. But it's there just in case I need it. Alright, so that is that. So let's go down to my farming plan now. So right now I am looking at getting uh, the Geonosian soldier up to Relic 7 with the rest of his buddies. And that is simply just because of ships. Because recently I dropped out of uh, the top 50 in ships and I didn't really care for that. So uh, I decided to just Relic 7 all my Geonosian pilots uh, so that way that won't happen again for a while. Uh, C-3PO is here for the Pit Rancor raid. I'll take him up to five and see how he does. CLS, I plan on taking a Relic 3 for now, just in case uh, I need to use a Datacron with this squad. C-3PO for a while will be the only Relic 5 character in it, uh, but we'll, we'll get back to CLS later. Here we've got what I need. To work on for gas. Uh, it's recommended 22,300 each character. And on some of these, you'll see like LS. That just means when I need shards, I'll find it in the light side battle. That way, like on, on Monday when it's light side farming, I'll know which characters I can use. Same thing with dark side. I'll have them labeled like DS. All right, gas. Uh, for now, just Relic 3. Once I once I get them unlocked and leveled up with the uh, uh, the guild currency, I plan on taking them to Relic 3. All right, uh, Cam. I would like to get them all Relic 5, except for Fives and Rex, which I want to take up to seven, be just because of ships. Uh, here we got Houndstooth. Uh, it's kind of sad, <laughs> but uh, when I left the game, Houndstooth was just becoming... It, it had just come out probably just a few months before, so I never really worked on it. Uh, you can see I'm, I don't know, maybe halfway, uh, but it'll come along over time. And I'll, I'll gear Bosk up to Relic 3 just for the ship. For the Rancor Pit Raid, uh, I don't know. I'm thinking about relicking these two uh, up to Relic 7 just for that event. Uh, my guild is not completing the Rancor Raid, and the more the, the participants can kind of take off, the faster we can kind of get through it. So I'm considering this, but I'm, I don't know. You can let me know in the comments if, um, if you d it's not really worth it taking them up to Relic 7 just for the Rancor raid. I don't know. All right, so Clone Sergeant and Jedi Consular, I'm gonna take them up to gear 12. They'll be backup ships in the Negotiator uh, squad 
uh, they may get more love later, but uh, getting to gear 12 now is easier than it's ever been. So why not? All right, then here uh, I want to take the whole gas squad up to seven. So fives and wrecks should already be there. So it's just a matter of getting the rest of them up there. Uh, then ships, uh, I've got, I want to take TIE Fighter up. I think it's to Relic 5 he's required for for somebody or something. And then we've got Iden here. You might be like, oh, you're going to take Iden's ship up. No, no, I'm not. Uh, Iden's ship isn't the reason she's here. She is here uh, because of the Vulture Droid. Uh, so I'm going to farm the Vulture Droid through her. And then I am going to farm the Hyena Bomber uh, through the Consular's ship. Which is right there. Because you can't put uh, ships into any kind of farming priority. So you kind of have to put the characters in the squads. Alright. So then we're moving on to lifters. Like I was talking about before, I want to get uh, the armor up into relics. And then I want to get Cody up to, I don't know, maybe just relic three. I understand there's a pretty good Darth Revan counter that uses him and a squad with a shock T. All right, and then we're gonna get on with our next galactic legend. Uh, which will be Supreme Leader Kylo Ren. Dive right into it. This probably, with all this stuff up here, I'm hoping maybe six months, but uh, maybe that's too optimistic. I don't know. There's quite quite a bit I covered above this. So I kind of separated them into two squads. This is the plan for the Phasma Omicron for Territory War, but uh, we'll see. And then down here, uh, we have ships. We have more ships. So you have to farm uh, the command shuttle, which isn't too bad, 56 shards away. Uh, I was made a mistake and was farming them earlier, and I, you know, it's not a terrible mistake, but I didn't have any use for the, the ship and his pilot isn't relicked up. And then we have veteran smuggler Han Solo that needs to be relicked. Uh, there's that bad guy. And then this is for the ship also. So we've got Xanadu blood that needs to be, uh, uh, I think it's seven starred for the finalizer. All right, so after the Supreme Leader Kylo Ren ship requirements, uh, I've got more lifters. We'll call them lifters, even though they're not specifically for GLs. But uh, I've got BB-8 that I want. Uh, Relic 3 for uh, General Grievous. Amara Jade for Empire Squad, of course. And Darth Talon for my Sith Triumvirate. Alright, so next we have uh, the BAM prerequisites. Uh, we need to get those done uh, to unlock his ship, which is, once he's unlocked, it's already seven stars. Uh, then we've got more Empire ships. So we've got Emperor Palpatine here, uh, which uh, I want his shuttle. Uh, I don't think his shuttle is super great, but uh, it's required for, like, dark side Geonosian territory battles. We could use... A couple more platoons so uh, I want to work on that and it'll help my my Empire squad out already I've already got you know maxed out Vader uh, well relic 7 Vader I've got uh, the maxed out bomber uh, and by this point I'll have relic 5 a tie fighter so it'd be really, really nice to have this uh, then we have second sister for the uh, TIE Interceptor and then we have a uh, Shore Trooper so I can get his TIE Reaper uh, it's it's coming along 
Then we have the last one, uh, Moff Tarkin. Uh, this one, I don't know. I have mixed feelings about this. He's Relic 3 for the C event, uh, but the ex Executrix could probably use a little boost. So um, maybe give him two or four more Relic levels. I don't know. Gauntlet, it'll probably be there just as a space filler, you know, last ditch effort. So I'm, I'm only willing to take them up to gear 12 at this point. Maybe, maybe a little bit more. Somebody could convince me they need more, but I think gear 12 is okay. All right, and then we get right into the executor. Hopefully by this point, uh, you know, I'll have a Padme squad, a Shakti squad, and a Supreme Leader Kylo Ren. Hopefully, m the rest of my guild will get their stuff together so we can start getting through uh, C-Pit, the Challenge Rain core, and we can start getting that uh, Gear 8 material, and I can actually get Executor at this point. Uh, and since we would have all these Bounty Hunters relic and everything uh, I'd like to get Zam who already has her Omicron get her up there too uh, Night Sisters like I said they are my uh, general Grievous counter but they'll be able to counter a lot better if they're gear 12 after them uh, I want to get my Omicron Qui-Gon Jinn team by this point I'm hoping to have uh, Cam 7 star geared up is a really good team. I could put the Omicron on Qui-Gon Jinn now, but uh, I don't know. The only one that is, uh, is really ready is Jedi Knight Anakin from the Sea Journey. So, uh, I don't know. You can let me know if I should just put it on now and if we're good to go, but if I put on his Omicron now, uh, that means this is the team instead of Padme because right now I, I pretty much put Padme on defense uh, and she does all right she's a she's a tough cookie so I don't mind having her on defense for um, Grand Arena uh, and at this point I think I'd be ready for the CLS squad to get up to Relic 5 you know I'd have my cam I then uh, this is what I would probably do with uh, Padme uh, after I take uh, Jedi Knight Anakin out of there is I would probably get this Gidme up to Relic 3 for 3 versus 3 uh, Grand Arena. And then I could work on my Iden team which is looking pretty good but um, you know I I can't pull Death Trooper out of my Imperial Troopers squad uh, for this team because I didn't have a replacement. That's why I need Moff Gideon up above because he would kind of fill both of those roles. He could take Death Trooper's spot in the Veer squad and then Death Trooper can actually come down here to Aiden. And then uh, Starkiller, since way up above... Talon and oh, who's the other one? Uh, yeah, I'm gonna take you through this since Talon and Mara Jade uh, will have been relicked up there. I could finally worry about Star Killer uh, and and get them going. All right, Ewoks. You might be like, oh, everything here makes sense. Well, why do you have Ewoks here, and why Relic Five? Well, this is more of a passion project. I know if, you, if you've if you ever seen, I think it's the gerbil or whatever on YouTube that, uh, that has uh, relic Ewoks. Like if they're fast enough, they, they can really put down some teams. They're, they're not a bad team. They can get beaten by plenty of things if you put them on defense, but uh, maybe not in the past couple months because I moved up in uh, Grand Arena. But um, before I mo really moved up in Grand Arena, this squad here could take out Relic Phoenix teams. 
and you might not think that's very impressive, but man, it, it was so nice just being able to use Ewoks to take out Phoenix rather than a much better team. So now that I've moved up though, nobody really puts Phoenix on defense and that's okay. I'll, I'll find a way to use this team. Paplu, Paplu is a really good tank too. However, I may uh, swap out, if I put it on defense, I would probably swap out Ewok Elder for Ewok Scout. And that's because um, I run Enfy's Nest against Ewoks whenever they're on defense. And I know one time they had an Ewok Scout on their team. And I thought I was gonna time out just because Ewok Scout uh, takes turn meter along with Log Ray and I couldn't get a turn. I was not stunned, I was dazed from Log Ray and then they kept taking my turn meter so I couldn't get a turn to actually hit them. And it was uh, really frustrating. So uh, I'm not, if I ever put this on defense, I'd probably want a Relic Ewok Scout. Uh, that sounds cringe, but it's hard to solo because of all the turn meter gain they get and yada yada. Anyways, this isn't an Ewoks video, but I'm just telling you why that would be my passion project. All right. Now that we're through the next like year and a half <laughs> worth of, uh, of farming that I've got planned, uh, what do you think I should do next? You know, we have uh, the Rebel Squad, which is... It's been around forever, but it's still really good and still beats a lot of stuff. Uh, I have none of the Revens. I could work on a third Galactic Legend at this point. I could work on a niche solo character, something like that, like Hondo. Uh, I could work on Inquisitors. I could work on Bad Batch, Sortie Droids, uh, Jawa Engineers. Ugh, I hate going against them. I, I think if I had a squad of Jawa engineers, that would drive people nuts. Uh, but maybe it's not a big deal once you know you start getting into the to the higher grand arena. Mon Mothma, I've got her uh, squad geared up pretty well on a different account. She's really good, so she's not really a priority because I kind of already have her. Uh, maybe I should go for a Dash Rendar squad. You know, since I'll have him Relic 5 already from um, Starkiller. Uh, I could do an Ahsoka Fulcrum. So I have like a Territory War solo. Uh, Mace Windu. I forgot why I put him here. But uh, he might already kind of be Relic'd up for, for Qui-Gon Jinn's Omicron squad. But, you know, you know, he's got a ship too, which, you know, is, quote, the worst ship. But, you know, they they have two uh, Galactic Republic ships. They might put more Galactic Republic ships in there because you can't fill them both. Uh, it'd be really cool if we got a couple ships from Bad Batch uh, that were Galactic Republic because technically they were part of the Galactic Republic. It's just the show takes place after all that kind of fell apart. All right, moving on. We also have Darth Treya. I could Relic 7 that whole squad. Uh, I have Savage, which I could give a couple more relics to. Uh, or maybe I, you know, like Sith Empire Troopers. I could pick out a few tanks and just, like, get some more relic levels on them. So that's really all I've got today. Uh, I tried keeping it short, and who knows? I'll, I'll figure out how long this actually takes uh, by the end of it. So please let me know in the comments if you think I'm making some mistakes on my plan, or if you would farm this stuff in a different order. Uh, and, you know, make sure to take care of your own real-life stuff, and may the Force be with you.